Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 3 talking about machine learning and we are looking forward to continue ahead with our next segment which is 3.3 selecting a form of machine learning. As a part of our previous tutorials, we have discussed very well that there are three different algorithms and forms of uh, machine learning where we call them as supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning, which pretty much describe in more detail that the su supervised learning uh, has classification and regressions, whereas unsupervised learning has clustering and association. And of course, we do have reinforcement learning, which is referred to as intelligent agent. Now, today we'll be trying to deep dive into how do you select the criteria or the way an appropriate ML approach would be applicable at any point of time. So selecting the form of ML is a very interesting thing to understand. Now, when selecting an appropriate ML approach, the following guidelines do apply, which would help you to decide that, hey, what uh, form of ML would be best applicable for my AI-based system? Now, the pointers here are there should be sufficient training and test data available for the selected ML approach, which is the first and foremost most important thing. What you need to have is with you is the training data, and that should be in the right format what the ML model needs to get trained with. Also, for supervised learning, it is necessary to have properly labeled data because supervised data is more about uh, having labeled information. So it does do go in line with that. If there is an output label, that means the even output is going under the label, it may be supervised learning. If the output is discrete and categorical, it can be called as classification. If the output is numeric and continuous in nature, it may be regression. If no output is provided in a given data set, then it might be unsupervised learning. That means you leave the ML model to learn on itself and they take care of learning and adapting things uh, from a transformative journey. If the problem involves grouping similar data, it may be clustering. If the problem involves finding co-occurring data items, it may be association. In reinforcement learning, it is better suited to context in each which weather, which there is interaction with the environment. That means, of course, the environmental factor where the ML model behaves according to the platform according to the environment where it is going to work and all these things have been very well covered in our previous discussions where we discussed in 3.1 that what are the forms of, M forms of ml and they itself become the criteria or set of factors for you to decide how to select the form of ml so all the information goes in line with that that what exactly will be your ml for the ai based system Last but not the least, if the problem involves the notion of multiple states that involves decision at each state, then enforcement learning may be applicable. So right now here, depending on your data is what we are trying to tell you that depending on the data and the outputs, what you have from the AI based system, the ML can be selected and the classifications are very, very discreet and clear that in what case of output and what case of inputs and what kind of information uh, environment you will have right set of ML model selected. So keeping it short and simple, this is a very small topic. So I just thought of keeping it very straightforward. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always here to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.